Buenos días con los presentes. Mi nombre es Marcelo Chávez Díaz. A solicitud del organizador del Congreso, vamos a hacer la siguiente ponencia en el idioma inglés. Hello with everybody. My name is Marcelo Chávez Díaz. I'm a surgical oncology and breast surgeon. So we are going to talk this day about oncoplastic surgery state of the art. I have no conflict of interest. So first of all, we are going to talk about evolution of surgery. First, we have Halsey in 1998 who create radical mastectomy for treat breast cancer. So in 1970, Veronese and Fisher described conservation surgery as a model to treat breast cancer with a similar overall survival. But this creates some deformation and asymmetry in the breast. This is why uh, oncoplastic surgery was developed. But plastic surgery is not just a technique of surgery, it's a way of thing and a philosophy to treat cancer. It was born in Europe, in Italy, Italy in 1993 by Galimberti and Peronesi, who described partial breast surgery and reconstruction by a surgeon. In Germany, the others described the first time the term oncoplastic surgery. Plot described the level one and two and be modality treatment. And 2005, Benigno Sea teach us indication and limitation about oncoplastic surgery. What about USA? USA, Professor Scott Spurr, also teaches to avoid unnecessary mastectomy with the phrase, nipple wants to live. Here's a club, three levels of deformities and asymmetry. So he teaches us that the best way of treat is to prevent it. So planification of the resection is very important for the breast surgeons. So for level one and level two asymmetries, we can use plastic, a lock and flaps, doing bad breast surgery and oncoplastic surgery. But for level three, we have to have the help of plastic surgeon in order to reconstruct the, the reconstruction of the breast. So in 2015, Krishna Klaus in the Congress of Orlando uh, teach us about oncoplastic surgery and the level one and level two. He said that level one can solve 90% of the cases of breast cancer and only 10% need level two oncoplastic. So for a breast surgeon and oncoplastic surgery, it's very important to know blood supply in order to choose our breast pedicles, uh, in, in order to choose breast pedicles and make safer the surgery. We have different ways of mammoplastic that help us in order to resect every part of the breast and remodelate with a good cosmesis. In 2017, breast surgeon and plastic surgery was described as a, as a bimodality way of trip in oncoplastic surgery, described by Cobb. Level one of oncoplastic surgery, it depends about the volume of resection. Level one is less than 20%, and level two is plus than 20%. So in level two, we have to move the nipple areola complex and reduce the breast volume. So uh, oncoplastic surgery, is a surgeon that has the skills as a surgical oncology and also the knowledge of a plastic surgeon to know reduction, reconstruction, and revisions of reconstruction and nipple areola complex. So uh, there are different papers about knowledge gap in oncoplastic breast surgery. Oncoplastic breast surgeon guide breast surgeons all around the world in order to get these gaps. So we're gonna talk also about breast QTs. Breast QTs is a test, it's a test that can quantify the impact of our surgery in quality of life of our patients. This test explore physical well-being, psychological well-being, sexual satisfaction with the breast, satisfaction with the comb, and satisfaction with the care of the patient. Second, we are gonna talk about this was, was the last retrospective multicentric analysis doing by oncoplastic breast consortium. What showed us 
that oncoplastic breast surgeon surgery has better margins, wider margins in T2 and T3 tumors, most of them, and less percentage of rare excisions with the same local breast recurrence and disease-free survival as conventional surgery. So we have papers from Italy about from Galimberti, France by Cloth, Spain by Nasea, but what about our country, Peru? In Peru, we have some courses of ocoplastic by this professor, Benigno Nasea, who teach us how to treat our women. So the first experience in oncoplastic surgery was described by Garces et al at the National Cancer Institute. What about international papers? International paper, we have these ones. Uh, the first one described the conservative surgery doing in the National Cancer Center. And the second one described the security, oncological security by using oncoplastic surgery. We did these words uh, and published them in USA and also in Spain. So these two papers show us that oncoplastic surgery can reduce the percentage of committing margins with an impact of the percentage of excision. So if we see here, oncoplastic surgery has only, uh, has only 6% of committed margin against traditional conservation who has 17%. With the same as international papers, uh, oncoplastic surgery has same local recurrence score and disease-free survival as conservative classic surgery. So what about the salute, what, what we are doing now? In, in the breast, skin, and soft heart, surgery department, we are doing an ongoing tri trial about oncoplastic surgery, long-term follow-up treated in Social Security Institute of Latin America. So our preliminary results are this. We have 15 patients with oncoplastic surgery until now. So free margins are 78% against 63% from classical conservation. To me. So, excisions was less in oncoplastic surgery. You have uh, only 14 excisions, and only one patient of this excision lost the breast or need a stick. What about breast QTs? We apply breast QTs in our patients. So, we show here the median of the result of, of, of this breast Q. So, all the aspects of impact of quality of life in our patients are over 50%. So this teaches us to continue with the oncoplastic surgery in order to improve physical, sexual, physical well-being, satisfaction with the breast, satisfaction with information of the surgery, and satisfaction with the medical team. This makes us very happy. So what, what about surgery that we are doing now? Oncoplastic surgery, we have a lot of patterns that we do actually in the National Hospital at Guillermo Menara. So let's see the cases. This is a patient with DCIS in left breast and we do ASIM or crescent mammoplasty. After RT, she has no deformity or asymmetries. This one was a patient with periarola tumor that we do Run block. This is the post operative per day, so she had to look. This patient was very difficult. She had a tumor in the superior quadrant of the breast, so we did a bad wing with good results. This patient was a 2B luminal B postnatal adjuvant chemotherapy, so she had a partial reduction of the tumor, and we did we did lateral pattern. This patient had a 3A triple negative plus adjuvant chemotherapy with good response. She has no tumor, papal tumor, and negativization of the axilla. So 
we did a radio guide resection by Supermary for approach and a diplofacial flap with good results for the patients. This patient has a small breast to a luminal breast cancer so with no ptosis. So we did j plastic for this patient. This patient has breast cancer, 3A R2 positive in adjuvant therapy, but she still have a big mass. So we did radio guide resection in order to improve pre-margins with a wise pattern. We have four centimeters of invasive carcinoma on free margins. And this is post RT. She has no asymmetries. And she wants now to do the symmetrization of the other breast. So what about oncoplastic? Extreme oncoplastic surgery. She was, uh, oncoplastic surgery and extreme oncoplastic surgery was described by Melvin Simberstein in the USA as a breast conservation operation using oncoplastic techniques in, in patients who, in most physical decision opinion, opinion, requires mastectomy. So oncoplastic extreme uh, candidates were large tumor over five centimeters, multifocal, multicentric, extends DCIS, local advance after good response of neoadjuvants, inflammatory cancer with a good response, or oncoplastic surgery in previously irradiated breasts. So Silverstein talk about this. Um, this is a kind of difficult surgery, so we have to try in the national hospital. So this is a patient with Paget disease, extensive medical classification and purple tumor. So we did a resection by a one spider and radio guide in order to excision all the micro classifications and the tumor purple, purple tumor in block. So we have this result with a free margin and the patient was happy to save her breast. So oncoplastic surgery in this patient was a 3A luminal B HER2 positive. After neoadjuvant therapy, she has fragmentation and three tumors near to the lateral pillar of the white pattern. Also, she has a history of peripheral incision. Uh, in another institution, she had a biopsy, diabetes, and hypothyroidism. So we did this oncoplastic mammoplasty, which is which is geometric compensation, described for a friend of mine, Regis Paulinelli. She had good response with a 5.2 PC car invasive carcinoma with free margin, but three of eight, 98 metastatic lymph nodes. This is other patient with a pilotus tumor with 10, 10 centimeters of the mass. So we did white pattern and risotti pattern in order to obtain borderline pilotus tumor with free margin. So what about complication? We have some complications. This is a patient for other surgeons. So he did risotti pattern with necrotic island. So we did vertical mammoplasty in order to save the breast. So oncoplastic surgery requires continuing medical education we have to use presentation. We have here Armando Giuliano, Monica Moro, Benita Sea, Secutrina, and Nico doing this continuing medical education. But what about year 2012, 2020? So we have pandemic time. We can continue learning in these webinars and web con congress. So we have very a lot of people who can teach us how to do the best treatment of our patients. So we reunion all of them in plastic 24 that they show us how the war is doing oncoplastic surgery. Thank you very much for your attention. There are a lot of papers and books about oncoplastic surgery. So join us to do this surgery for our patients to improve the quality of life of them.